It's probably safe to say that no innovation in the pool industry has generated more excitement and discussion than the introduction of intelligent, variable drive pumps with permanent magnet motors by Pentair Water Pool and Spa. Never before have there been products capable of so dramatically reducing the cost of pool ownership. As a result, Pentair's variable drive pumps have been a sensational success. Tens of thousands are already installed as the industry discovers how they literally obsolete older pump designs. Now it's also safe to say that the introduction of IntelliFlow and IntelliPro pumps has, to put it mildly, rocked other swimming pool pump manufacturers. The energy savings being meticulously documented by third parties are significant and in some cases downright phenomenal. Even in light of this proven performance, there is a good deal of misinformation and half-truths being spread about these remarkable pumps. This video will set the record straight by explaining the fundamental differences between conventional single and two-speed pumps with induction motors and intelligent variable drive pumps with permanent magnet motors. We'll also compare the energy use of new variable drive pumps with older technology to prove how dramatically variable drive pumps cut energy use. The savings will vary, of course, depending on which comparisons you choose to make, but the facts are clear and undeniable. These new pumps have changed the game in terms of energy conservation. First, let's review some basics of older pump technology and new variable drive technology to set the stage. And the first big difference is seen between old style induction motors and the newer permanent magnet motors used in variable drive pumps. The fact is, permanent magnet motors on average are 30% more efficient than induction motors. In recent comparison tests with induction motors ranging from one half to three horsepower, permanent magnet motors consume 17 to 44 percent less energy when run at the same performance levels. As you can see, the savings are greatest when comparing one half to two horsepower motors and somewhat less when comparing two and a half horsepower motors and higher. However, as you review this information, Bear in mind that 90% of the pump installations involve induction motors that are 2 horsepower or less, where a permanent magnet motor delivers the greatest savings. So, to repeat, permanent magnet motors used in variable drive pumps deliver significant energy savings and are the first chapter of the total savings story. The next key concept to understand is the pump affinity law. This law states that when you reduce the motor speed by one half, you reduce the power requirements to one eighth of the amount of power previously used. In short, the slower you run the motor, the less energy you consume. This pump law is of course central to the idea of being able to vary the speed or flow of a pump. The slower the speed or flow, then the bigger the energy savings. And as we'll soon show you, the savings can be very large. Also remember, these savings are added to those already gained by the use of a permanent magnet motor. As a general rule, you can expect to cut energy use up to 90% when using a variable drive pump compared to a single speed or two speed pump. First, because of the more energy efficient motor. Second, because you can program a variable drive pump to run at lower motor speeds and take advantage of the pump affinity law. The savings will depend on a number of factors such as plumbing, fittings, the number and type of pool and or spa features, and the filter media used, to name a few. But make no mistake, the savings can be significant. Now let's talk about how competitors have tried to discredit these facts. They claim that when an IntelliFlow variable speed pump operates at its top speed of 3,450 RPMs, there are no savings when compared against a three horsepower single speed pump at the same performance. And they base this erroneous conclusion on the amperage draw information contained on the product label. So what's the truth? In the first place, amps are not the proper basis for making energy cost comparisons. The power in watts is the real power measurement that matters. Amps or volt amps are what is known as the apparent power. 
Watt rating refers to the actual power purchased from the utility, while volt amp rating is used for sizing wiring and circuit breakers. Also remember that comparing one of the new variable pumps to a three horsepower pump applies to less than 5% of all pumps installed. In fact, in some states like California, three horsepower pumps are banned for use as a residential filter pump. But for argument's sake, let's see what happens when you do run an IntelliFlow pump flat out and you measure how many watts it uses compared to a three horsepower pump at the same performance. As you can see, the variable drive technology consumes 9.4% fewer watts than the single speed pump. Also consider that you simply would not set a variable drive pump at its maximum speed to accomplish most water moving tasks. <laughs> to do so negates the ability to exploit the energy savings based upon the pump affinity law. So now if you come across this or any similar comparisons, you'll understand why it is first not true, second not representative of the horsepower pumps installed in the field. Now let's turn our attention to a more realistic and accurate comparison to see what happens when we start to tap into the affinity law by altering the speed of an IntelliFlow pump. Look what happens when the technician reduces the motor speed on IntelliFlow from 3,450 to 3,332 RPMs, a tiny 3% reduction. As you can see, the watts drop from 2,880 to 2,420, a 16% reduction. Now remember, you probably wouldn't be running the pump at this high speed either, but you can certainly see the impact when you control the motor speed and drive energy use down. Now let's look at what happens to energy consumption when the IntelliFlow is set for filter mode in a 20,000 gallon pool with a 12 hour runtime. The RPMs drop from 3,332 to 1,100 while the watt usage decreases from 2,420 to 157, a whopping 94% reduction. Finally, let's go to the opposite extreme and compare an IntelliFlow with a less powerful one horsepower pump running at a speed of 3600 RPMs. Here you'll notice that the watt usage decreases from 1670 to 1196, which is a 28% energy savings. But also remember, you have the ability to reduce the speed of the IntelliFlow and further reduce power requirements for different routines throughout the day, week, or season. Therefore, a 28% savings is actually the worst case scenario because the more you customize IntelliFlow's performance for each pool function, the greater the savings potential. So there are two key points to remember. First, the permanent magnet motors used on new variable drive pumps are much more efficient than induction motors used on static speed pumps. On average, you'll reduce electricity use by 30%. Second, a static speed pump inevitably runs a significant amount of the time at a speed well beyond what is actually required to power most of the jobs it must do. It cannot take advantage of the affinity law. A variable drive pump, by contrast, can be programmed to run at its best efficiency point for every task, and by exploiting the affinity law, it can typically reduce energy use up to 90%. With this in mind, we encourage you to be cautious when other manufacturers attempt to dismiss the savings by distorting the facts. Perhaps we should end with a couple of comments from actual pool owners who have replaced their old pump with an IntelliFlow pump. After all, these are the facts that matter most. But what you're about to see is a new pump that saves energy, is good for the environment, and is actually quiet. The swimming pool is one of the nicest pleasures during our hot summer days. But as the Smith family of Monrovia found out, it can be an expensive pleasure. How much is this bill? $253.07. And that was for when? This is for um, the end of May. The cause of the big jump in their energy bill turned out to be the pool pump, the second biggest consumer of energy next to the air conditioner. So Richard Smith came up with a plan to replace the relatively new pool pump, a plan Michelle thought was crazy. 
But Richard was right. Replacing the pool pump turned out to be a real money-saving idea. Their bill this month? $184.36. So the Smiths are now saving about $70 a month on their utility bill. You see, most pool pumps have one speed, high, and it takes a lot of energy to run at that speed for five to eight hours a day. But the Smith's new pump, a Pentair IntelliFlow, has variable speeds. This pump is designed the opposite of that. You customize the speed of the pump to the pool. Pool pumps can be a significant drain on our, on our energy resources, there's no doubt. They say pool owners could save, on average, $500 a year on their electric bills by using these low-energy pumps. And California, remember, is loaded with swimming pools. So if you multiply that out, we're talking about ex serious savings and also serious benefits to, to the grid. Ernest Rios has already seen the benefits. His new pump does more than just filter water. It pumps pool up to his roof where it's heated by solar. It also powers the jets in a spa, all while cutting his electric bill. Look at this. In May, his bill went from $201 last year to $160 this year. In June, it went from $231 last year to $164 this year, about a third less. So now the Rioses crank up their pool without worry. We hope you've found this straight talk about variable drive pumps helpful. We recognize these products are significantly different and can be initially challenging to fully understand. That said, we look forward to assisting you with installation, programming, sales, and service support so that we can jointly deliver these incredible savings to your customers. As always, thank you for your support of Pentair Water Pool and Spa.